Hello and welcome to a Film Exologist, uh, the place on the internet thingy where the incomplete gets completed. Uh, case in point, this unit here. Um, and what this episode is going to be about is really about converting manual, cho uh, manual chokes as this one to automatic chokes. And I'm going to show why um, this is the case. But first of all, I need to bring you a bit closer to show you this unit, to show you the, the starting line of this unit and what I say about the incompleted being completed. Because what I'm going to show you now is this unit exactly as it came to me and you're going to see all the parts that are missing, all the parts that are broken and therefore what must I do to to make this good, make this a complete unit. Okay, so the first thing you might notice is that the choke arm is missing here. This is this kind of later style plastic um, ax um, choke, choke arm um, actuator and it's absolutely rubbish. It's very flimsy, this kind of, this arm this plastic arm that we've got here. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to completely hoik this off and convert it into a into a good auto choke than that I've got. But look at the the carb in general and all the bits that are missing from it. So no particular order we've got here in the secondary bowl with the the needle and seat are completely missing so that's <laughs> a bit of a problem uh turning around this way well of course you've got a few bowl screw missing here uh completely and obviously the the fuel inlet and the um and the the fuel tube here are also missing. Um, as you can see, somebody's been kind of inside here already. Let's have a look. We've got a meter in plate. You can see it there, which <laughs> that's good news. Um, so anyway, we we've got a few things that we need to um, th that we need to make sure that we complete this carb in order for it to be a functioning carb. But anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start uh, pulling this this apart uh, and make sure that I complete my you know shopping list of parts so that it can uh, so we can make it live again.
Okay, since this video is about kind of the conversion of a formerly manual choke into an auto choke one, I thought I might as well show you the innards of an auto choke unit so that you know what are the component parts, kind of how it works, and and a bit a look inside and what other parts I replace. So you, here you can see the innards of, a, of, a, of an auto choke unit. This one, it's really in, in absolutely brilliant condition, as you can see. One of the things you always need to look out for is that this piston moves freely. Here, there, like so. If this piston moves freely, it's okay. Sometimes you need to just clean it up a bit with kind of carb cleaner. And then you've got, because it pivots in here, you are going to need to put a a seal there when you install it in, in the car, but that's okay, we can wait for now. So basically the, the way this is built up is that you put this gasket like this, or you can just put kind of a round one, and on top of this goes this kind of bimetallic coil. And basically what happens is when, when you put 12 volts through here, you know, positive, negative, what it does is heats up this pad here and therefore this coil starts closing up like this, which is what ends up opening the carb in this way. So it goes kind of yay like there. So therefore, that's, that's, that's the simplicity of this unit. And basically, the reason why there is a, a vacuum signal in here is because the vacuum signal basically actuates this piston there. So this is a combined choke pull-off and actuator all in one. <clears throat> because before this system came about, you needed a separate choke pull-off in the carb in order for the system to be actuated. So now what, I'm, what, I, what I just need to do is I need to kind of obviously build this up now with all the gaskets, put this, um, put the bimetallic coil which is goes like yay and therefore now now you know that it that it does actuate and it has even a regulation look at look at the sound that's the sound of a properly working coil so therefore you put this the this metal ring that secures it and it's ready to go it's ready to go into the carb Okay, so here we come to the end of, uh, of, of the episode. Now, obviously, I've installed uh, the choke, and let me bring you a little bit closer so I'll show you kind of some of the details. As you can see, this choke flaps like this. The way you adjust the, the, the choke, for example, if you want, if you live in a colder climate and the one you want the choke to remain closed for longer, what you do is you just get a screwdriver and you just loosen this up a little bit one two and three and what you do is you start turning this round like so and now you can see that it's much does it has much more tension here so that's how you adjust it but generally I'm, I'm based in Britain so therefore kind of this cars don't get used a lot in the in the winter so therefore I think that's that's more or less about right but it can be adjusted pretty easily you just need to do these three screws and that's how you kind of make the adjustment but this carb okay it's not maybe not going to win a beauty contest but you know all of the crucial bits so all of the, the the fuel bolts they have been tested they have my t there um obviously all the gases have been done the the th the carb has been cleaned so no carbon deposits so therefore it's going to be efficient let's say from the word go so this is a you know nice little replacement unit but with instead of manual choke as it came from the factory now it has an auto choke so I want to say thank you very much for watching this episode. I mean, if you've got any questions, please kind of put them down in the comments. I try to respond as soon as I can. And uh, now what I need to do is I need to just move on to <laughs> another project because I've got a lot of work on at the moment. So I, I've got I've got a huge amount of stuff 
uh, to get through. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.